I think my favourite magic clip I've ever seen was by this guy called Sewo Takayama, who's an incredible magician. He's at like a fast food chain, like a drive through and he asks someone, you know, what they want off the menu, and he's the picture of all like the cheeseburgers and the fries and the, you know, the Big Macs and all that sort of stuff. And then he just went like this and pulled the cheeseburger from the image and then started eating it, you know, like, still to this day, I don't know how he did it. I think one of my favourite reactions I've ever had from doing magic was I was performing for Snoop Dogg and after I'd finished performing he turned around to his laptop, found a beat and just started rapping about the magic, like freestyling and you know, I mean, that's quite crazy, I mean, how many people can say Snoop Dogg's done a rap about him? That was, yeah, that's got to be one of my career highlights to be honest. <laughs> I've done quite a few things in my time that have been pretty risky. In series two, I walked down the side of the LA Times building. In the first series, you know, I walked across the River Thames. There's something that was very scary for me to do that we actually was at the end of episode one of the new series. I don't really want to spoil it, but it's one of those things where you know you kind of watch it, but you kind of don't want to watch it at the same time. So you know, without giving too much away, look out for you know episode one of series four and you see something that's quite shocking. Set the pace And we'll leave this crooked place behind All insecurities and doubts Will be discarded by the time